Welcome to the Clash Tips YouTube channel. Raid Metals, something I'm so excited about. How can you most efficiently use Raid Metals? How should you prioritize them? That and more in this video. Of course, by this point, we all know that we can donate CC troops to ourselves using Raid Metals, and that is an OP use. It's an OP idea that Supercell had, and I really, really like it. If I ever want to donate a Wizard Blizzard to myself, if I want to donate a Super Minion CC, any of that, if I want to donate a Log Launcher to any of my lower accounts, but I don't want to have to bring my bigger account down, then I can do all of that. But what about the Raid Metal Shop? I'm going to list these out one by one, so if you've done the first one on the list, then just move on to the second one. If you've done the second one, then move on to the third one. But the first thing on the list is if you have not completed auto, if you have not gotten your sixth builder, then that has to be your priority. Getting that sixth builder on your account means you can upgrade 16.6% faster, which is a savings of almost two months per year. Two months per year. So getting auto has to be a priority. The first thing you need to make sure that you have on your builder base is that all your elixir collectors are leveled up to max because that's super important so that when you use these clock tower potions that you can get from the Raider Metal Shop, you can get the most benefit from your elixir collectors. In fact, if you have all of your elixir collectors max on your builder base, that gets you an extra 18,000 builder elixir per potion, you can buy three clock tower potions, which essentially means you get 54,000 extra builder elixir every single week if you can use your raid medals on this. Additionally, those potions speed up the building time, which means that you can save two hours per potion on your battle machine whenever you're building it up. After level five, the battle machine increases in time required to upgrade from one to five days, meaning each week you could save between five to 25% on builder time for your battle machine, which means you can get your six builder that much faster. That means you can get to using the battle builder on raid more quickly, which means you can loot more quickly, which means you can upgrade your battle builder more quickly, which means you can use your battle builder and raids more quickly. Wait, have we heard this somewhere? Regardless, if you do not have your six builder, then getting your six builder is going to be of primo importance. So using your raid medals on things like the clock tower potion is of uber importance. Additionally, there is also the option to get builder elixir and Get that as needed. Because the builder base economy is limited, that means that you will need Elixir from time to time in order to upgrade your battle machine. So do that. So number one on the priority list, get your sixth builder and do that by getting the clock tower potion and builder elixir as needed. Next item on the list is going to be research potions. Total upgrade time in the lab is four years, 73 days, and 18 hours, or 1,533 days and 18 hours. Using raid metals and using three per week will actually save you 42.8% of the time required to max your lab, or theoretically, 656.4 days. So grab those three research potions with your raid medals every week, assuming you already have your six builder unlocked, and use them. Plan, plan, plan accordingly, and use those research potions to cut down the time that's required to upgrade your lab. The next item on the list is going to be dependent upon whether or not you need time or you need resources. If you need resources, then you might consider the resource potion, but the only time that I personally would consider it is if your mines and pumps are max at level 15 in order for the research potion to make sense. By using that resource potion, you can gain 1.4 million extra gold and elixir and 11,500 dark elixir. Or alternatively, you can just buy 2.5 million gold, 2.5 million elixir, or 25,000 dark for 300 raid medals, which isn't that much anyways. Usually whenever we need resources, we're just a little bit short, and so just buying the resources direct, in my mind, makes more sense. The power potion and the hero potion would be next on my list for 150 raid medals each. Its value is very personal. It can only be used in specific situations. I would personally only use raid medals on those whenever there's a very important war that's going on. And then last on this list is wall rings. The only time that I would ever use raid medals for wall rings is if walls were the only thing that I had left and walls were super important to me. Other than that, let's go back through the list. 
Number one, clock tower potions. Get that six builder as quickly as possible. Number two, builder elixir as needed. Number three, research potions. Save those three days per week if you can. Number four, training potions. Get those training potions. Super valuable. Number five, resources as needed. Hopefully this list was helpful. Hopefully you go into the raid metal shop and you know what to grab. If you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. And let me know what you're using your raid medals on. Thanks so much for watching.